Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Savvy Report. I'm Ernie Martin, founder and managing director of Receivable Savvy, where we provide research and best practice to help master the order to cash process. Our guest today is Michael Young, founder and CEO of Photon Commerce, an organization whose technology is making waves in order to cash, AP, procurement, e-commerce, and more. What we'll talk about today is the work Photon Commerce is doing in these areas and how their unique value proposition is benefiting suppliers. So Michael, thank you for joining us and welcome to the Savvy Report. Uh, fantastic to be here, Ernie. Thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely. And so I've done a little digging uh, about Photon Commerce and about you personally, and I, I understand that you founded a number of technology companies. So before we go there, I understand you co-invented the optical Memory store, memory store. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. Please tell us what that is. Yes. Um, so uh, basically, back in my graduate studies, um, I uh, you know went to UPenn as well as Stanford for my PhD program in electrical engineering, and uh, we uh, basically co-invented this very interesting new circuit element, uh, which is called the memristor. It's a basically uh, it's analogous to a type of transistor gotcha. um, in, in circuits, but uh, it operates about two to 3,000 times faster than a conventional uh, transistor because it doesn't use electrons. It actually uses photons. It uses light in order to operate. And um, electrons have this issue where it's very lossy, but photons operate much, much faster and with very little loss. Right. So it's actually one of the sort of inspiration uh, points for how we came to name our company today, Photon Commerce. Right. We uh, allow businesses to move at the speed of light, mm -hmm. right? To go from paper processes uh, all the way to complete digital and straight through processing. Okay. Yeah, excellent. That's that's a great connection to, to the current company. And so, Tell us how Photon Commerce uh, came about and what pain points in the marketplace led to its founding. Absolutely. We um, were hunting for a killer application for artificial intelligence, machine learning, and uh, robotic process automation. We saw that these technologies would be defining for our generation. Um, so we wanted to basically talk to thousands of companies, understand what the biggest pain points are in the world and you know, payments is a, one of the largest pain points, right? It touches every person, every company, uh, universally many, many times a day. But there's huge pain points still around payments, especially around B2B payments, right? And that spans into the payable side as well as the receivable side. How do we speed up um, payments so that they are instant? And how do we make the user experience right around any payment as seamless as like a Venmo or like a cash app? So we talked to um, some of the leadership at Visa, MasterCard and PayPal, and they told us that um, basically data right, is the biggest problem around payments, right. um, not just payment processing itself, but gathering and understanding all of the surrounding data um, around any payment, any transaction. That's really where the holy grail is. Right. under digging in and understanding even every single line item for any payment. Right. right. And so that there's a lot of application for the supplier side, for corporates and for solution providers. So to give us a, a um, typical day, if you will, of say a supplier organization interacting with their customer and same thing for the customer working uh, with organizations in their supply chain in terms of that value proposition in action. So what, what might they actually do and do better? There's a huge problem right now with just data sharing and um, basically like invoice related sharing between organizations, right? There's uh, interesting and kind of weird power dynamics of, you know, which AP portal, which AR portal will which, you know, company use 
Um, and uh, there's just hundreds of hundreds of different quote unquote standards, uh, which right. equates to there is no standard, right, for the invoice in the industry. Um, so we set out on the path to finally standardize, right, all of those invoices, all of that trade and supplier and customer data right. um, that's basically surrounding the invoice. So um, the invoice itself and the payment, right, obviously don't um, just stand alone in a vacuum. They come from <clears throat> purchase orders, they come from quotes, and then they also yield basically remittances, receipts, and there's the three-way and four-way match. There's also a lot of third parties like logistics companies and warehousing and freight documents um, to prove exactly, right, the entire paper trail right. around any order. Um, so uh, there's just a lot of basically manual processes and paper processes in this entire value chain. Right. Uh, Microsoft and the Federal Reserve report that 75% of you know, invoices out there are still manually processed, right? They're right. emailed um, to someone else. Uh, there has been, for instance, like you know, EDIs uh, for decades, but EDIs have really not kept up with what the industry needs in terms of real-time uh, data visibility, right? Um, API level access, and uh, even standardization. Everyone has a slightly different sort of flavor of EDI. Right. So EDI has really disappointed most of the industry, um, I would say. And uh, we see in the era of especially like e-commerce, a lot of companies are moving well beyond EDIs onto APIs. Yeah. Um, so that's exactly where we come in. Um, we can turn any invoice in the world, even if it's a paper invoice, even if it's a Chinese or Japanese or you know, Arabic or German invoice directly into an API to right. facilitate basically straight through processing and uh, instant approvals and instant payments. Right. And so that's that's interesting because you're you're interacting with both sides of the equation, suppliers, uh, corporates. Uh, and so is, is there um, something typical in terms of how you typically engage a certain type of customer? Is, is the engagement usually does it usually start from the AP corporate side? Does it usually start from the supplier side or is it both depending on the situation? It's really both um, because uh, you know one person's AR is another company's AP. Right. So um, our vision is to create a grand unification of AP and AR, not just within a company, but across any company, uh, intercompany relationships. Right. So we do create um, basically the ability for companies to digest. Um, any incoming, say, purchase order, and then instantly flip that into a structured invoice right. data format. Could be a PDF, could be an API, could be you know, XML, um, as well as the flip. So if you receive an invoice, you can instantly understand all of the data inside that invoice, instantly pay that, right. um, even take apart right, the individual line items that are inside that invoice. And then we go further into also understanding remittances and receipts as well yeah. um, to automate the three-way match to make sure that you know, the invoice data, the receipt data, right, the payments data is all correct and consistent. Right, right. And so uh, you mentioned um, artificial intelligence, you mentioned uh, API. And so tell us a little more about the, uh, the, the technology sort of behind the curtain, if you will, Photon Commerce and uh, how it's incorporated. Absolutely. Um, early on, um, about three years ago, when we started this company, we um, set out to partner with NVIDIA, Microsoft, OpenAI, a number of other uh, technology leaders out there to create a deep learning and artificial intelligence pipeline to be able to understand any financial document out there. Um, especially starting and revolving around the invoice and the purchase order and the receipt, and the remittance. Yeah. And so uh, we have a pipeline that has computer vision, can understand that, hey, this is a check, that's an invoice, this is a bill of lading. Mm -hmm. um, then we use natural language processing to understand the structure and the semantic meaning behind any phrase, any word, mm -hmm. um, any code uh, behind these documents and then create basically standards and structure out of them. 
-hmm. So uh, today we also uh, work with the International Chamber of Commerce, um, SWIFT, and uh, also the BPC in order to uh, basically bring standardization finally into receivables and payables. It's almost like we're like Plaid, but extending Plaid's capabilities Mm -hmm. um, well beyond just bank transaction information into trade and into invoicing and even down to line items and SKUs and products. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And so uh, you mentioned that uh, you've, you, you launched about three years ago. And so what are some of the major milestones uh, Photon Commerce can hang its hat on and say, hey, we've, we've done this, we've accomplished this, we're, we're moving forward in this direction? Absolutely. We are very fortunate to partner with companies like Brex, um, like Settle, um, and um, about three dozen other fintech uh, leaders out there, right. including even publicly traded uh, payments leaders. Mm-hmm. So we also work with some of the largest payments processing companies in the world um, in order to bring automation and RPA and AI mm-hmm. into understanding um, to a unprecedented level, uh, much more data and uh, context around every single payment and invoice. So we've uh, last year processed $23 billion worth of invoices and receipts. Um, And so uh, we've been very fortunate to experience lots of tailwinds um, in this era of digital transformation. Um, We've also uh, expanded our team quite significantly. Uh, So on our team, for instance, are folks from uh, senior execs from uh, Bank of America, Citi, uh, Wells Fargo, PayPal, um, and we have uh, fantastic investors from some of the leading fintech companies also in the industry. Yeah, and that's pretty significant. At $23 billion in transactions is significant too. And so um, what do you say to a supplier organization who may be skeptical about um, what Photon Commerce can do for them? What's, what's the message to them? Um, uh, you know, we have even like a free sandbox. So if you're skeptical, you know, at no risk, you can uh, give our technology a spin. Um, and uh, we'll also, uh, we love working on a custom basis as well with a lot of companies. If there are a lot of custom needs and a lot of custom sort of data flows around any invoice or receivables or payables like process. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, we do work with some of the largest fintech and payments companies out there you know, in the world mm-hmm. and uh, happy to provide some case studies uh, there. So as one really interesting case study, um, we work with Brex. We power their bill pay mm-hmm. um, solutions. We work with Settle, which is a, uh, one of the up and coming leaders for invoice financing and factoring, both on receivables as well as payables. We enable like a one-click uh, finance one-click factor type of experience for them, which is quite unprecedented in this um, industry. Yeah, that's, that's great. And, you know, we're, we're fans of sandboxes, you know, letting uh, companies get their feet wet a little bit before they dive completely in. Uh, And so what lies ahead for Photon Commerce in terms of market focus areas, products you may be working on, uh, et cetera? We are very keen on helping the accounting and bookkeeping industries as well. Um, so whenever there are receivables or payables you know, processes, being able to automatically also GL code every single transaction, every single merchant, and then every single line item as well. So uh, we see a huge opportunity in uh, using AI to break down right, any invoice, any payment, any uh, even like line item into say, What's parts, what's labor, what's a product, what's a service, what's a fee, what's a tax. Um, So uh, breaking down much more granularly, right? Every single transaction um, down to even SKUs and quantities, right? As an example, much of the payments industry, it kind of breaks down because today most payments processors only understand a total and maybe a merchant and a date, Right. right? But what happens when you have a partial payment or you do buy now, pay later, or uh, a customer buys, say, you know, five shoes and returns four of them, mm. right? Yeah. Then um, how do you really handle all of that data and yeah. decouple even like taxes and other fees and shipping, right. right, from a transaction? So there's just immense opportunities in basically bridging um, 
that world of uh, basically like inventory data, logistics data, accounting data yeah. um, together. Yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent. And I know a lot of uh, suppliers and AP customers will find a lot of value in that. And so Michael, thank you very much for joining us on the Savvy Report. We appreciate you carving out time uh, you're out of your busy schedule. Um, I know you're traveling this week, so, so thank you again for joining us. And um, you can find more information about Photon Commerce by going to photoncommerce.com and get a little more information about what they do. And so thank you for joining us and we'll catch you on the next episode of the Saver Report. Thank <laughs> you.